All right, folks, last one of the, the, the evening. So if you haven't jumped in up to this point, now is the time. We're doing one final round of talking points. On your devices, finish the three speech times. That's a hole. We don't have time for basic speeches. Who put this hole here? Now it's no longer the world's longest couch, because it's not together. Oh, we're doing stuff. <laughs> I really hope mine gets big. I suppose I can keep running art while this is happening. <laughs> and it's done. <laughs> oh, I love that. But also, the titles that have been sent to your device. This will be the title of your presentation. You have 20 oh. seconds to pick your title. I am so excited for that one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Three, two, oh boy. one. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh shoot! Wait! Alright, I'm up. I didn't get to shoot! I... Chaz, my assistant. I probably chose one for you. No! Oh, well. Tough bananas. <laughs> you're gonna have to talk about something unknown. Are you my, you're my guy again? Yeah. Again? Yeah. It's fine, man. It's all about improv. Yeah. My guy. So if you, if you weren't here earlier when we did this, uh, basically what happens is I have to give a presentation and Chaz is choosing the slides and I haven't seen them prior. He's choosing the text in between and the photos. But I have to give a TED talk on this even though I've never seen it before. So, uh... Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully it goes okay. All speeches will follow this exact structure. Quick personal intro, speech title, picture, text segue, picture, text segue. I'm up, assisted by Chaz. All right, folks. Hi, my name's Stephen. You may know me from Stephen George channel. I'm here to talk to you today about Gather round and hear my tale of woe about eggs. Eggs are normally a happy thing, but look at this image. They might be responsible for damaging your kitchen. Sometimes when I'm making eggs in the morning, I'm moving all around so fast and furious trying to make my eggs as slowly as humanly possible to make sure they're super, super soft that I knock over my coffee. That is one of the many problems with eggs. Hold on. Pro problem. <laughs> egg. Problem. That's an egg problem. And you hear this next part. I apologize in advance for making you weep. This is a big deal. You might think that this looks cute. You'd be wrong. The problem with this is that the eggs aren't even open yet. And that's setting me back even further. The problem specifically are these. These are the eggs. I didn't know if you guys knew that. I'm gonna point an arrow too so you know exactly which part I'm looking at. Don't look at this or this. Only look at the eggs. They're not open, which is bad problem. Next slide. <laughs> You're gonna laugh though when I show you what I did. This is, this is fun. Um, I installed... I installed a tiny alarm into an egg. And what this does is at, at the particular moment, which is uh, 8.15 a.m., what happens is the egg uh, does a thing called breaking, and then it splats on me. And this, 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 indicate, this is the yolk juice, and it Ugh. gets all over me. Oh, it gets, it just goes up, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> That's the one that made me cry. That was my woe about eggs. How many times people hit the buttons? So many egg problems. And the other half. Thankfully, one of the colors was yellow. There are only three colors. Put it together, and that's your score. And of course, some points for the assistant. While the speech is still fresh in your mind. I hope you all enjoyed my presentation on egg. Renee says you are never allowed to say yolk juice again. Yolk juice. <laughs> Oh. Is that not what comes out Dan, of Dan, you ready to help? Yep. Hello, my name is Mal, and my talk is... Everyone panic, we're almost out of Coke Zero. Jazz? 
Uh-huh. You see, we had like 50 cans in the house a week ago, and um, this was how we felt in Costco buying the Coke. We were eyeing up that Coke Zero, and the Coke Zero was over here, and it was almost gone. So we got 50 cans of Coke Zero. And then please memorize everything carefully. Um, and I'm about to say, don't cut out your credit cards. You can't buy Coke Zero. Because if we, <laughs> if we hadn't done that, we could have had more Coke Zero. And now we're out. And Chaz is very sad. <laughs> sad. So never forget what you've learned today. <laughs> Or you'll feel like this baby and make this face at me when you realize we're out of Coke Zero. Thank you. Good work. I learned a lot about Coke Zero. Yes. Let's look at the graph. How are you the least engaged, Chaz? It was about you. And Sorry, I was paying too Zero. much attention. I forgot I clicked the button. Until the <laughs> oh, right, okay. Let's get to that comment mm. card again. Unclever title, don't cut up your credit cards because then you can't buy Coke Zero and you'll make Chaz sad. Oh yeah, let's do this! I forgot what it was, so it's gonna be good. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right. Hello everyone, my name is Lindsay and my talk is how to find love while up to your neck in water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I will need this entire presentation because it's pretty simple. When you find yourself up to your neck in water, you may be standing or swimming like this because you want to keep your mouth and your nose above the water. You don't want to go under the water. This might seem ridiculous, but here's why it is very serious. <laughs> You cannot breathe water. <laughs> Keep your nose and your mouth above the water. Oh, also the the poison it, the water is poisoned. Oh no. Um, to your lungs. You don't want to get oh. it in your lungs. It's bad for you. Okay, we're just going to continue on here. Everyone must do their part. So here's something that you can do. <laughs> you can hit the hoops button right here. Do you see it right there? If you want to get out of the water, all you have to do is find a keyboard with a red oops key, <laughs> and then uh, a person in a boat will come find you, and that's how you can find love when you're up to your neck in water, because the first person with a boat that you see is it. Just take the boat and get out of the water, okay? <laughs> Get out! Oh, get out the water! Thank you. <laughs> Yay! Oops! 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 Hmm. Comment hard. Comment often. We do have the op button in Wisconsin. Oop! Oh. Oop! Oh. Gonna sneak on right out the water quick. Scooch on out by a minute. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, I got you. Oh God. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jaff, and my talk is better than him. Albert Einstein was smart, but I'm an influencer. You know, this microphone is a perfect example of why I'm more important than Albert Einstein. Because Einstein, he created a theory about how the entire universe works that's been scientifically tested. And you know, that's cool and all, but I create my universe. I create the world around me that's most complementary to my existence. And that's something Albert Einstein could never do. This next image, will convince you that I know what I am talking about because I'm an influencer. And Albert Einstein never had access to a smartphone, which is a device that I can use to document my entire existence in a way that's extremely complimentary to me, an influencer. So I can create a version of my life that's, you know, it's essentially perfect. I'm shaping reality. 
And again, Albert Einstein just described reality. What can we do with that kind of information? But well, creation is everything. <laughs> <laughs> and this is this is an example of me dissing Albert Einstein <laughs> us, using the power of the internet, which is a tool that without Einstein never had access to the internet. He never experienced this kind of mass connectivity. How, I mean, how could he even interact with the world? I mean, how could he even relate to it? I can do all of that in real time with you know, modern technology in the most glorious way possible. And that's why I'm better than Albert Einstein. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's so I'm, good. I'm so glad you picked that. There, there's some good images in there for that. Every time I clap with my phone, it's like, undo typing? And I'm like, no, no, no. Oh, man. Choose an image to represent. Well, I've got an idea. Oh. <laughs> it's such a great concept. It's <laughs> okay. All right, I Dan. don't know what my speech is, but Jeff, if you can uh, oh, yeah. assist me here, buddy. <laughs> uh, hello, my name is Dan. I am a uh, nice, friendly boy. Um, and I'm going to talk to you about something very serious to me. A toast. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, it picked the right one I wanted. <laughs> this is a toast to the happy couple. But first, I need to talk about my farts. <laughs> you see, we all live... We all walk around. We're all just a bunch of animals. We're farting all over the place. And guys, I just gotta tell you about my big old <laughs> farts. <laughs> and you know what? They're Z. great and they're stinky. All right. Yes, I'm on the verge of tears. Here's why. Friggin' What are those pickles? <laughs> pickles make me gassy as all hell. They give Young me the pickles. Young big pickles. old farts. They give me the big old farts, you know? And when I just start eating them all, I just go and go. Anyway, back to Jerry and Veronica. In closing, there's an Irish blossing that's perfect for this moment. I'd like to thank uh, Jimmy and Veronica here. <laughs> and uh, you know what? I'll mow your lawn. And I'll fart in your lawn the whole time while you sit there in your middle aged khaki pants. And I, uh, I'll just mow and fart all day long. Farting lawn man do. Farting lawn man do. Thank you. Wow. Maronica and whatever his name was. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry. Divorced, divorced Jerry and Maronica. Whew. Mmm. Goodness. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. For sure. Whew. That was a lot. I chat, 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 so chat, like yes, yeah. chat, constructing divorced Jerry Moore. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Chaz, and my talk is ignore my critics. They're totally wrong <laughs> about my opinions. Here's the thing about opinions. Everyone has them, but mine are right. For instance, this kitten is adorable. It shouldn't be wearing that. Now, you may disagree with that. That makes you wrong. <laughs> this is how opinions work. Everyone has them. Mine are the correct ones. I'm not really putting on a character here. <laughs> this is just a statement about reality. I appreciate the game giving me this chance to inform you all about reality here. So, knowing that, this next bit, it will knock your socks off. Even though you're wearing shoes. 
your socks will get knocked off. How will that happen, you might ask? I'm just kicking back. I'm having a lovely time playing my guitar. I don't really know how to play the guitar, but I dressed up for the occasion. I wore sunglasses inside. I'm that much of a loose, casual dude, but my socks are under my shoes and you can't possibly knock them off. You think I can't knock those off? You're sorely mistaken. Because what the data is telling us is obvious. With the power of water, I can dissolve your socks off of your feet while you're wearing <laughs> shoes. See, it happened to that man right in the middle. There's no more socks. He didn't need them. I decided that, my opinion was right, I used my magical water powers to dissolve his socks. <laughs> That's just how the world works now, and I think we can all agree that it's for the best. Thank you, and keep your feet dry. All right. <laughs> See the data. I had a much better option for that last photo and I didn't get it in time. Oh, I'm sorry. It was a baby sitting next to a stack of pancakes that was a graph. <laughs> that would have been your data. That would have been good data. Hmm. Good notes. One last bit of prep before the award ceremony. Give out an award. Give the award. Give out an award. Out. Oh my. And now let's look back on this amazing speaking series. <laughs> egg. Egg squirting. Egg <laughs> sighting. That's so sad. <laughs> it's true. It was so sad and I hate that story. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that was ten. <laughs> 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 you do not steal. Knocked my socks on. Stay away from pools. <laughs> Get out of the pool. Idea. <laughs> Get out of the pool. Time for the award ceremony. Yay, awards. Each one of you has one last big award to bestow. And that includes the audience. Now, finally, the big, big awards. Mm, the award, 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 award. <laughs> to Jeff. The correct award. The Chaz. I'll take it. A participation award. <laughs> to me. <laughs> nice. Very nice. The least socks. Oh man, Chaz is uh, racking them up. I will let you keep your socks. Unholy $2 bill. Oh no. Wow. Oh, which has got a lot of awards. Yeah, he's probably going with it. Yep. 800,000 points. That is the most points I think I've ever seen. That is a large point. Goodness. Thank you, thank you. I really thought the squirting egg with its yolk ju juice would pull that out for me. I loved it up until the minute those words left your mouth. <laughs> I get that exact Did you see phrase the chart? a lot. Did you see the chart just take a dive down at the end when you start saying yolk juice? Let me tell you about eggs and the yolk juice inside. Good job, everyone. That was fun. That was fun. Audience's favorite rejected title, How I Saved Chess's Life. <laughs> <laughs>